how do you make like the initial like small talk that you make with someone good that good enough to like make a good impression right because whenever you meet someone new you don't really know that much about them so there's not that much to talk about right so when you go to make small talk with them it's all the like the, the stupid questions right you know and um and sometimes the person is just dumb and they can't answer the questions even that you ask them of them right okay wow. yeah like like oh what do you like to do in your free time I, I don't know right so how do you like spice up like small talk and make it enjoyable you know okay you want to spice it up okay okay so small talk is pretty tricky sometimes because as you said you don't know much about the person you kind of meet them and they're you know they're very they're very much like a stick figure like you don't know much about them at all right at least like with a, a person you know like with a friend you know what they're like you know that they like football or whatever and you can like you know fill in the details of the gaps of what they enjoy and that kind of thing but with a new person you have none of that so how do you get to know them when maybe you don't have much time developed as like a, a backstory or a history together so with this i often meet people in the sauna or the gym like these are genuinely or sorry generally places where you see people for the first time and you you end up talking right sauna or the gym right and what i would do or what i normally do is i I start with the basic questions, right? Because you have to kind of start with some basic questions. Otherwise, it, it's kind of weird if you just ask some like really deep question, like, oh, what's, what's, how, what do you think the meaning of life is or something like that? It's like it's too deep. It's too much of a, like a, you know, invasive kind of like deep question. So you've got to start with something basic, right? So in the sauna or the gym, some basic things, you know, like, hi, how are you, you know? that kind of thing and it can be dependent on the the area or the place that you're in right so how are you so specific to for example the sauna right in the sauna i can say you know how long do you spend in here usually right because people like there's a timer on the wall and you can like spend certain amounts of time some people do five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes whatever and it's a question that you can ask everyone and it's like a normal question for that environment, right? So for the sauna, how long do you spend in there? And for the gym, right? A typical question might be, what are you working today, right? What muscle group are you working? Like, what are you working? People know what they mean, what I mean when I say that, right? What are you working? I'm doing chest today. What are you working? I'm doing legs today, right? So like a level up, from hi, how are you, is a specific question about that environment, right? So yeah. how long are you going to be in here for? What are you training today? So that's the gym. What are you training? And that will change depending on the environment you're in. So you might have a, you know, a chess club you go to, and you might have a certain phrase that you have, right? Like, oh, what's your favorite opener or whatever, like whatever you say in chess, right? In chess club. Or you might do some swimming or whatever, right? What are you working? Okay, fantastic. So there's that. There's like, so what I would call that is like, hmm, like default questions. Yeah. Um, maybe I can call them something different to kind of really nail it down. So maybe location defaults, right? So what that means is, depending on the location, there's a default question you can ask anybody, right? Location defaults. That's what these are, okay? And it will change, and you can you can discover what those questions are. So like when I started going to the sauna about a year ago, I'd, I'd never been to a sauna before, I had to discover that question. I had to be like, okay, what question can I ask anybody? And it would be fine. And it would be like a easy opening question, right? 
So that's the second part, right? The third part is something I might call like medium talk, right? So we understand the idea of small talk and the idea of big talk is like those deeper questions like, oh, what's the what's your meaning of life and stuff like that. But there's a stage in between, right? Where we don't necessarily, you know, ask something that's really personal or really deep or really thoughtful, but something that is perhaps in the middle. So a question I like to ask people for this is once I've gone to talk to them a little bit more. So with these uh, questions up here, they might talk a little bit or they might not talk so much. And so if it carries on or if it kind of fizzles out and you want to keep going, you can ask a question like, how has your day been? Like that's one of my favorites. How has your day been? Because it's easy to answer, right? You just you just have to say what you've done in your day. How has your day been, right? And it's something that you can like really talk about details. You can talk about okay, what do you? And that can lead to a lot of places, right? This is a the reason why it's one of my favorite questions is because you can talk about what you do as a hobby. Like okay, let's say it's a Saturday. I went for a walk with my dog, and like that can be a conversation itself. What breed is your dog? Like, where do you go for a walk? Like, how long do you walk for? Like, what shoes do you wear when you walk? Like, whatever question it is, right? So that's a a conversation there. If it's like a if it's a Tuesday, they can say, "Oh, I was at work today. It was very tiring, right?" And that in itself is a conversation, right? Work. What do you do for work? How long do you work for? Why is it tiring, right? And if they say something that you don't understand, if they do like some some job title that's like, oh, I do cumulative financial derivatives. I'm like, what does that mean? I don't know what that is, right? You can ask them about that, right? And so with all these topics, there's so much more like expansion that you can make, right? And that's what conversation is really. It's going from like, you know, a title question to like details. Oh, I want to I wanna know more about that. I'm curious about that, right? I have a thought about this topic, right? You talked about your dog. I also have a dog, right? Here's what I do with my dog, right? I know a guy that works in in banking. He does this, right? So you can talk about things like that and like bounce ideas off of that. And that's how I would develop from small talk to medium talk, right? And if you feel really comfortable, you can start to ask some deeper questions like, you know, you know, if if we go down the the work conversation pathway, you you might be saying something like, "How does that? How does it feel to like work in a job like that? Does it does it pay well? Are you happy at that job, right?" And then you start to get into like more deep questions, like, "Does your job satisfy you?" Is a bit of a deep question, right? But you can only ask that after you've been through all of this stuff. Hi, how are you? How long do you normally stay in the sauna? How has your day been? I. I'm tired because of work and that kind of stuff. Or what do you do for work? Does it pay well? Are you happy at work? And like you get to that level where you start to talk about, you know, are you happy in life? Right. And so many conversations I've had, even though they're only like 20 minutes long, get to that level because I go through these steps. Right. And I'm only following my curiosity. Right. It's not as if I memorize these questions. It's like I'm genuinely curious. And that helps a lot because it can seem a little bit strange if you're just asking questions as if you have like a list, like an interview or something like that. Like you're reading questions of a sheet of paper like, oh, uh, how are you, right? Um, how is, how's your day been, right? It's a bit weird, right? If you genuinely want to know, then your curiosity will lead you there, right? So like, how are you is like the default questions that maybe like that's something you memorize, but like beyond that, it's something that you genuinely, genuinely curious about. Like I'm genuinely curious about what dog breed this person has, right? I'm genuinely curious about what this guy's work is. Like I want to know more about, I'm like, I genuinely, I'm curious. Like what, what does that mean? What does that job title mean? Cause I don't know. I've never heard of it before. Right. So genuinely follow your curiosity. That's that's a big point I want to make here. 
curiosity. And on top of that, genuine curiosity, right? I spelled that wrong. Genuine curiosity, right? That's a big aspect of this. So to go from small talk to medium talk to bigger topics, spicier topics, if you will, um, genuine curiosity is definitely part of that equation. So yeah, I think that covers what my thoughts are on that topic. Does that help? Yeah, it helps. It's just like, yeah, that helps if you're interacting with like someone that's uh, like cognitively able, right? But some people like you just can't get anything out of them, you know. Like especially like people I meet, I I ask them every like every conceivable thing about their like, and like they just give me like yes, no. Uh, it's good it's fine you know what i'm saying like it, it's yeah like that's that. true that's true so i do meet some people sometimes even in the sauna where i'm like i'm asking all these questions and they're like like you said they give like very one word answers yes like how are you like i'm fine like how's your day been like it, it's been okay and sometimes i'm like okay maybe this they just don't want to talk Right? And sometimes it just it, it stays like that. So I ask like, you know, three or four questions in a row and they're like, you know, they say like one word, but I can sense in their mind they're like, oh, I wish this person would shut up, right? And so I'm like, okay, I get the message. I'll stop talking, right? And so sometimes I stay silent in the sauna, right? And that's, it's not my fault. And if you try that as well, it's not your fault. If you end up, like coming up against like a, a conversational brick wall. That's what it is really, right? Like you, they're not allowing anything to go, get past, right? It's kind of like a a wall that you just can't do anything about, right? But yeah, it's not your fault. There will be people like this. In my experience, it's pretty rare. Um, most people are down to have a conversation. But if they're not, not your fault, right? Yeah. And I would I would go out of my way to kind of find people that are good at conversation, right? So good conversation often comes from like you going to find it, right? So in the sauna, it isn't necessarily, how do you say this, normal for someone to like talk, right? But I come there and I bring the conversation and because I've brought the conversation, then people want to talk, right? And I might see someone in, in a park, right? Like sitting on their own, having a picnic. Like I, maybe like two weeks ago, this happened. Someone was sitting on their own. They were like filming themselves doing something. And I just walked over and just started talking to them, right? And she turned out to be uh, like really obsessed about like star signs and things like this. And she turned out to be like a very, what are those, what are the star signs called? The astro something. I don't know what it was, but she like talked for like ages about that, right? And I just ended up having a conversation about that. So I went to like have that conversation, right? I feel like sometimes with people that are like by default around you, it isn't necessarily guaranteed that you'll have a good conversation. So, you know, maybe like your mother or your father that's always there or your brother or sister, it isn't guaranteed because they're like, they don't really like, they don't necessarily care about having a good conversation with you. They don't necessarily care about, you know, developing like a, I don't know, some kind of bond or whatever, because they're, they're always around. They're kind of like, ah, I see this person every day. Like it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that sometimes with the people we're around all the time. Right. So if you want to like go and seek good conversation, go and find it. Right. That's what I would do. I would absolutely go to the places and like kind of not force it that's the wrong word maybe what's the word for this be like the activator right mm. so go to the place so how does this go to the place and be be the active component or the activator i'm trying to find a word to use here what's a good word i think initiator, activator is a good word. initiator yeah that's a good word initiate initiate conversation so definitely do that right 
because the people that you have around you by default they might not be good conversationalists right so you have to go you have to go and find people and initiate which is it's hard but it results in really good conversation right and it's a skill you develop as well right i used to be really bad at this i used to be really like awkward and shy and like i used to be you know scared to walk up to a girl and talk to her right i used to be bad at that but i realized over time that it's a skill that you can upgrade right and oftentimes when i talk to people about anything in life it's always a skill that you can upgrade right like we were talking before about like morality and how to decide between what's right and wrong what makes you feel guilty what makes you feel great that is also a skill that you can develop right you get good at choosing the right thing every time by doing the right thing every time in this situation you get good at doing this by talking to loads of people right you might start off being awkward you might start off being like like oh hey I'm, and you feel nervous you feel like oh maybe they think i'm weird maybe they think i'm creepy and then you get to a, a level which you know you can just walk up and talk to anybody with confidence right even if they do think you're weird right i've had such like strange interactions because of my confidence like i i go up to someone and say hi and say like you know like how are you doing whatever start a conversation and they're like pretty much like why are you talking to me and they just like like walk away basically right i've had like horrible interactions like that but they're very rare right and so go up talk to people initiate and you will have good conversations like 99.9% of the time it works really really well does that make sense yeah man that makes sense so you're saying to develop the skill you just need to like go and uh, talk to more people basically right yeah exactly so wherever there's new people you can talk to whether wherever there's like um or if you find someone who's good at talking like maybe find a way to hang out with them more right the typical places for me is the gym the sauna if i ever like walk my dog to the park or whatever that's a a place i can talk to people that kind of thing wherever you see it right and i know it's kind of like with this thing you're going to see a lot of opportunities and you're going to think maybe that's not appropriate or maybe I can do it tomorrow. Or maybe I can do it later. You'll see like a, a pretty girl walking down the street and you're thinking, you know, I could talk to her. You know, I like the dress she's wearing. I, I could tell her I like that dress. And you might feel shy and you feel like, oh, no, I can't do that. Just do it. Just do it. Like I, for many years of my life, I stopped myself because I felt too shy. And I wish I just did it. Because when I started doing it, I realized, oh, this is actually really easy. Right? You don't have to like make it so, seem like a hard thing. It's actually really, really easy, right? So I started doing that. I said, like, oh, I like your shoes. I like your hat. I like your dress. Everyone, right? <laughs> you can like you can't do it too much. You might seem like I seem like the weird guy. I talk to everybody, right? I'm like really weirdly, annoyingly talkative. I talk to everybody, right? But it takes me to a place where I'm just like over, not over confident, but like really confident right i can talk to anybody about anything right so yeah just like go overboard talk to anybody anyone so oh, i like your dog i like your hat i like your shoes where'd you get that haircut right anyone any random conversation just go start it to see what happens right even if it goes badly just laugh at it right that's the kind of attitude you want to bring to this it's not hard it's fun and funny as well right with life, there's two ways you can go about it. You can like really grit your teeth hard and like pretend as everything is hard, like you're lifting a really heavy weight, or you can laugh at it. You can be like, you know what? This is hilarious. This is really fun. I love what I'm doing. This is great. Right? Even if it goes badly, right? Like, let's say like a girl told me to, you know, screw off. I'd be like, wasn't that funny? That was hilarious, right? Instead of thinking, oh, it's so hard. It's like, oh, everyone's rejecting me. There's two ways. There's two attitudes you can have to life. So go out there, do as much as you can, and have a positive attitude, and you can't lose.
Does that make sense? Yeah, man. That makes a, that makes perfect logical sense, man. I understand. I understand. So, like one last thing, right? This is the typical Jeffrey question, but like, is the, what are like some like resources to like learn more about this stuff, like books or like maybe you've made videos on it or something? Um. There's some good books, like I'm pretty sure you've heard of the classics, kind of like um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. That's a pretty good book to read. Um, I don't think there's one resource I can name necessarily that's like a, you know, good for social skills. Maybe, have you heard of the, the YouTube channel Charisma on, on Command? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, so it's a. Uh, I'll spell it out. So charisma on command. That's a pretty good one. Charisma on command. Um. Aside from that, so there's the book I mentioned, how to win friends and influence people, how to win friends and influence people um i don't think so i could make a video i don't know if i've made a video on this or not i could make one to be honest with you or i could make i could just like post this on youtube as its own video hmm i might have to get back to you on that because i don't know many right now i think the best way to do it to be honest with you is not dependent on like what resource you use, but just talking a lot in general, right? If there was one general attitude to bring to this, it's basically to make it fun, not only for you, but for them as well, right? So the end goal with this so I drew the happy face earlier, right? Hang on a second, my pen's not quite working. So it's gonna be happy for you, but also for them, right? Because if you're happy and they're sad, then like, what's the point? It's not really, you're kind of, you're kind of taking away from them, right? You don't wanna like steal their joy right it's better if they are also happy right so what i mean by this is in every interaction you can bring up someone's mood or so with the happiness thing it's basically if you had an end goal for the interaction it's for you to be happy and for them to be happy, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. So try to make it like enjoyable for both of you. Like don't yeah. just like harass them for your yeah, exactly, happiness. Exactly. exactly, right? So if you just go into every interaction with that attitude, make it enjoyable for both then I don't think you can go wrong with that, right? It doesn't mean that they that you can't like disagree with them or something like that. It doesn't mean that you can't like have an opposite opinion, right? It just means that they must they it's better if they have a good time, right? So let's say I I'm a carnivore and I'm speaking to a vegan, right? We could disagree like absolutely but we could also enjoy that conversation, right? I can talk about the benefits of carnival, they can talk about the benefits of veganism, and we can listen to each other and have a good time. And I could say, I think that is wrong because of this. And he can tell me, I think this is wrong because of that. We might disagree with, with each other, but it never becomes something like, oh, I hate you, right? If it becomes, I hate you, then that's like, you've kind of defeated the point of the conversation, right? 
it's about learning about each other it's about enjoying it it's about you know going through those kind of things right So yeah, if you have that one principle, I think that most other parts of conversation become learnable through just doing it, right? But if you want some extra help, there is the the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and the YouTube channel, Charisma on Command, which are pretty good resources, right? And I might make some videos about this in the future as well. Does that help? Yeah, that helps. Thank you so much, man. Of course, of course. Pleasure to help. Okay, fantastic. How has that been for you guys? Good. Yeah. Yes. I think this is the first call I've had with more than one person. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's good to have people watching, even though it's not your question. Like it's great. How do you like so? I know that you weren't Yusuf, you weren't here for the first question. How did you yeah. feel, Joachim, with listening to someone else's question, listening to the answer to someone else's question? Did you find it helpful as well? Or Yeah. Are you asking me or him? No. Joachim, Joachim. Oh. Um, I liked uh, listening to someone else's question. And uh, um, about how you can go into deeper conversations. Like right now, I talk to quite a lot of people inside the gym but most of the conversations are quite flat so it's good to hear again how you can go deeper into a conversation and uh, get a something like a reminder of a way how you can think about it or go around yeah for sure definitely yeah so yeah with the gym so I talked about a basic question being how are you or what are you working today? Another question I might put under that that I like asking people is what exercise are you doing? Like what what do you do to work your chest, for example? Right? And sometimes I just join them, right? I'm like, do you mind if I join you in your workout today? And I just I just, you know, <laughs> swap in with them and join their workout. I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't really do uh dumbbell bench press so i'm just going to join you today whatever you're doing I'm, i'll do it with you right and so you can have a whole workout with them and talk to them during that time right and be careful about that like because like it might seem that you're you know annoying them by just kind of like tacking onto them a bit but just be aware of that right if you feel like you're being annoying then just like oh i want to do my own thing now right but most times I've done this, it's been absolutely a laugh. It's been great. Fantastic to do. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. This has been great. It's been great for you guys. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Awesome. So, same thing next week. And do you guys have any, if you had like any idea for me to like make a video about something? what would you say would be awesome? If you saw like a thumbnail and a title saying this topic, what would that topic be? At the moment, uh, well, <laughs> maybe a little silly to say, but my second question would be about journaling. And like, I would love um, a video about journaling. So what was that, joining? Journaling. Oh, journaling. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Journaling. Okay, I can, I can make a video about that. I like journaling. That's good. Journaling. Okay. What about you, Yusuf? Anything you want to see a video about? I mean, not not really. It's just like, like maybe like a video on like the the thing I just asked right now, but. I wouldn't say like that you should like make that a, a priority or anything. Let's just like a random suggestion. Okay. I'll see if I can get to those videos. Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. I'll see you next week. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Peace. Till next time. Till next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.